guys, this is the video that I'm sure you've all been waiting for for the bracket orders. Uh, I'm going to go through in this video and show you how to install it. A couple of different things about it, um, you know, show all the features. There's a couple of new additions since the video I made yesterday, and so I'll go through those. So what you're going to do first is follow the link, the GitHub link that's going to be in the description of this video, or if you're in the Discord, we'll post it around in there as well. And so what you're going to do is follow that GitHub link, and it's going to take you to this page right here uh, called Digitex Mods. You're going to see a uh, two folders right here. You have a minified and an unminified. A minified just means that it's a simplified version of the code. Unminified is the raw code. So if you were going to, uh, or the original, if you wanted to modify uh, or build upon it. Uh, if you need to go down and look at the README here, um, you know, first and foremost, uh, CryptoCoder is not affiliated with Digitex. You know, this is just a tool. It's just a script. You know, anybody, any trader that uses any other exchange, whether it be Bybit or BitMEX or whatever, you know, there's plenty of scripts that can be used on these web-based exchanges uh, to create uh, tools, you know, for traders. And so this is just a way of uh, building upon what Digitex has through through since it's a website based exchange through a script on the browser and so um, you know he's not affiliated with Digitex so if anything does go wrong with this Digitex is not liable and neither is CryptoCoder you know this is just open source code this is for anybody to use you got to use at your own risk there could be bugs this is only version one you know CryptoCoder and myself have uh, went through this somewhat extensively and I, I don't see anything wrong with it functionally there might be some visual bugs uh, but like I said, this is version one, so it's going to be built upon uh, and only get better. So for anybody using it, just keep that in mind. And if you have feedback or you notice any kind of issues, uh, I would encourage you to join the Discord, which I'll have a link in the description of this video as well if you're not already in there. So you can give feedback to uh, CryptoCoder and myself. And so the features are bracket orders, obviously. That's what I went through yesterday. Audio cues, which you heard yesterday when the stop loss or take profit gets hit, it actually makes sounds. And one thing he added last night was browser notifications, so you'll get a little browser notification when uh, your stop or take profit gets hit. Also, uh, hotkeys is something that he added last night, so you can actually place your orders uh, with Alt plus Up is up arrow key is actually to do a long market order, uh, and then Alt plus down arrow key is to short as a short market order. Uh, flip sides is coming soon, so basically just flip you from long to short. That's coming soon for a hotkey. And then also a panic exit button to get you out of all positions, all open orders and positions, and that's coming soon as well. One thing that he added la last night was risk calculations. I'll show you that once we get in there. Um, and so he's got a donation link right here. I would really encourage anybody, if, if you're using this and you're, you find uh, it beneficial, uh, you know, please donate to crypto coder because he, he really didn't have to do this and so you know it's it's making our life easier as traders and so especially if you're making profit you know throw him throw him some digitex or bitcoin it's only going to help motivate him to do more stuff like this for us in the future and i'm not going to go through the installation i'm going to go through that up here at the top so i'm going to go to the unminified version i think there's an issue with the minified version uh that crypto coder needs to get sorted uh, so i'm going to go to the unminified version I'm going to left click Digitex bracket JS. Now I'm in here and you can see the code right here. This is the original code. And so what I'm going to do is click raw. And what that'll do is open up a web page with like a notepad looking version of it. And so what you can do is just make, just click control A. It'll select everything in here and then hit control C. So control A and control C copied everything on the screen. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up notepad. It's just going to be easier if I do notepad. So we'll go to notepad. I'm going to paste it in here so I can. The reason I'm doing this is so that I can put my API key in. Uh, you could do it in the script, but uh, you got to have your API key copied before you do that. So if you scroll all the way to the top after I've pasted it into my notepad here, you'll see right here where you can put your API key in. And so what I'm going to do is go to the exchange. So now that I'm on the exchange, what I'm going to do is go over here to uh, account and go to API. Okay, so now that I'm here, you can see that I already have an API key. I'm just going to delete this real quick. 
So if you don't have one, it'll have a create button. So just click create. It'll create you an API key. Then you click this icon and that copies the API key. And so what you'll do now is go back over here to um, your notepad. So where I had this and I'm just going to get rid of all these X's and I'm going to control V paste my um, API key into here. And so what I'll do now is just go up here to uh, edit, select all, uh, copy, and then I'm going to go over to the exchange. And so I'm going to go back to where I'm trading. I'm going to go to BTC USD one because that's the one dollar contract. We've we've tried it on the five dollar. It seems to work, but most of our testing has been on the one dollar contract. So that's where I'm going to go. And now that we are on the one dollar contract, what you can do is if, if you're using the Brave or the Chrome browser, you can hit F12. If you're using Opera, you do Control Shift C. And when you do that, it'll bring up this window over here. And so once you get here, go to the icon right here and click that and go to console. Once you do that, you're going to have something down here blinking where you can actually input something. So what I'm going to do is uh, paste in my code that I had from my notepad. So I'll just do this one more time just to show you. You can uh, select all, copy, and this has my API keys input into that already. And so I'll come here, click, and then do control V. Now my code is in here and I'm just gonna simply hit enter. Once I hit enter, it should execute this code. So it's authorizing my Digitex account. So it's successfully authorized. Um, so yeah, everything looks good here. And so, uh, now I can get rid of this and so you see once that executed uh, we got our uh, bracket quick select right here and I'll go through what this means you'll see that land bot popped up right here because uh, it's basically just a shout out to the bot that crypto coder is working on so if you're using this tool you know if you're interested in the bot then you can follow that as well um, and so those are the things that you you visually see first off whenever this is executed and so what I'm going to do now is show you how to set these right here and what they mean. So you know how you set your uh, quantities in here, like in the video I showed yesterday, just click the cog. Uh, you select, you know, you change all your pre-selects right here, like Digitex has designed. Uh, and for what CryptoCoder added, we have our bracket order settings right here. And so what you can do is select whether you want it to be just stop loss or place uh, both brackets take profit and stop loss which is what we want most most people should probably want that uh, so that's what I have it selected on um, and you can select whether you want the sounds to trigger when you hit take profit or stop loss and also the notifications check that if you want your notifications to pop up on your screen and then I can set my pre select so if, let's just say one of my pre selects is I want my stop loss to be five ticks from entry and I want my take profit to be five ticks from entry and I want the take profit to be a limit order. If I don't, if I want the take profit just to be a market order, I just leave that unchecked. If I want it to be a limit order, then I check it. And uh, so I'm just gonna change these around a little bit. So we'll do like 10, 10, uh, and then yeah, five, 10. I'm gonna make all these limit uh, and then uh, save so what I what I have here is I want them to use both the take profit and stop loss so uh, I have these as my pre-selects I have the sounds and the no notifications on and I have them set as limit take profit and so when I save what you'll see here is my pre-selects that I had set they're gonna show up right here and so the five on the left side of the slash is the number of ticks to your stop loss the five on the right hand side is your take profit uh, number of ticks to your take profit so Five tick stop loss, five tick take profit with a limit order as my take profit. 10 tick stop loss, 10 tick take profit with a limit order as my take profit, uh, and then so on. So whenever you're ready to trade, what you can do is come up here and select whatever your pre-select is that you wanna trade with, and then hit the bracket order that you wanna do. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna do 2,500 contracts as my entry, and it's gonna place a stop loss five ticks away uh, and five, uh, and my take profit five ticks away. Uh, so it's a one-to-one -one risk to reward essentially. Uh, and it's gonna do a limit or as my take profit. 
And what this is right here, uh, this is your risk. So if you notice, uh, five ticks for a stop loss with 2,500 contracts is gonna be a quarter of a percent loss on my account. So what this does is actually looks at what my account balance is, what my position size is that I'm, I have selected and the, the distance to my stop loss, which is five. And it tells me how much I would lose in percentages to my account balance. So this is really nice if you're only wanting to risk 1%. So like on this setup right here, let's just say uh, I wanted to do 10 tick stop loss, then uh, I could actually do 5,000 contracts because see I'm only risking half a percent with 2,500. So if I go to 5,000, I'm actually risking 1% of my account at that point. So it's a nice quick little way to, uh, to manage your risk. You can have a visual of how much you're actually gonna be risking if it hits your stop loss. So I really like this as a visual uh, based on what contracts you, or what uh, pre-select position size you have selected. Obviously if I do 25,000, you know, I'm risking a pretty good bit. And if I do 50,000, which I can't even do, I don't think, you know, I'm risking 10% of my account on a 10 tick loss, which is, you know, just ridiculous. So uh, it, it helps you determine what size your position needs to be based on your bracket order uh, that you have selected. Okay, so let's go ahead and do an example. I did some examples yesterday. I'm gonna come in here and do something small because I don't wanna lose a bunch of Digitex, you know, uh, showing you how this works. And so I'm gonna do uh, a five tick stop loss, five tick take profit with a limit order as my take profit. You can see that since I have 10 contracts selected, I'm only risking 0.001% of my account, which is, you know, very, very negligible. Uh, and I'm gonna come in here and I'm just going to get into a long right here and we're going to see what happens. So I'm in a long position. I have my stop loss down here. I'm going to take profit up here. So we'll see which one gets hit. And you should hear an audible uh, alarm whenever one gets hit. Remember the, sp the spot price is what triggers it. So you hear the audible alarm and you hear and you see the stop loss activated and it gives you the information right there. Uh, and like I said yesterday in the uh, video, the spot price is actually what triggers the, um, the stop loss and the take profit. So uh, even though the futures price might be trading where it is, you have the spot price actually has to get there, which is fine because the spot price has been dialed in and it's not super volatile. So you're not going to get stopped out based on the spot price now. Um, and so it works out quite well. And so I'm going to do another one here with uh, 10 tick. Have a little bit more leeway here so you can see we have a 10 tick uh, take profit up here and a 10 tick stop loss down here and so uh, you see if the spot price gets there there you go so the spot price hit the level and we got stopped out and I'm let me just enter again real quick right here so what you'll see is uh, when I'm in the position I have two conditional orders and they're showed up right here on the delayed actions so you'll see them right here and the information around it. Uh, so it's uh, very straightforward. If you need to cancel them, you, should, you can cancel them from here. In a later version, we're gonna have it where you can like right click on the icon and actually cancel, cancel them individually. But for now, you're gonna have to come right here to cancel your orders. So if I wanted to, I could cancel those. I'm still gonna be in my position and it's gonna cancel them. It looks like it doesn't get rid of the icon. That's something that uh, we can fix uh, in the future version so it still shows that they would be there but they're not actually there so I cancel them and if I want to exit manually I can just right click on the ladder uh, it looks like it's going against me I can just right click on the ladder and get out uh, it basically right click it matches the position that I'm in and it gets out and once I'm out of the position then you saw the icons go away so we'll just have to fix that where the icons go away once you cancel the delayed actions manually um, the next thing is the hotkeys. So if you want to uh, use the hotkeys to get in, so I have 10 contracts selected. I'm on 10, uh, 10, 10 for my bracket order. So 10 ticks away for each. Um, and if I want to, let's just say I want to go long and I want to market long in right now. I think the price is going to go up really quick. So I want to market long in with my bracket order. So what I'll do is I'll hit alt up arrow. So when I do alt up arrow, you see how it market markets me into a long and we already hit take profit. So, uh, that one worked out well, <laughs> not that I'm really have any kind of strategy going on here, but if you notice alt up, I'm going to do it again. So alt up 
it markets me in places my bracket orders based on what I have selected and uh, if I want to get out I can do the same thing so since I went into a long position if I want to get out I can hit alt down and it'll get me out and so there I just got out uh, by hitting alt down alt down just marketed me out of the mar out of the out of the position so I don't have to wait for it to get to my uh, take profit or stop loss I can just I could hit alt up and alt down all day long to get in and out so alt up gets me in I have my bracket order set uh, you know if we get up and I don't know if it's gonna make it any further I think it's about to dump I can just hit alt down and then it, it takes me out of the position uh, one other way to do it is let's just say that uh, I do alt up to get in um, you know I don't have to use alt down to get out I can just right click anywhere in here uh, you know right click somewhere right in there and get out as well like I showed earlier uh, the other thing that you need to know is if you don't want to use bracket orders then what you need to do is uh, make sure that nothing's highlighted here so if for whatever reason you want to trade like normal and you don't want to use bracket orders then select this since it was highlighted blue and now you see that nothing's highlighted so what that means is you don't have any bracket orders selected and so now I can go back to trading like normal I can click whatever pre uh, set position size I want and start trading like normal and so the good thing about that now is uh, you know I'm back to trading normal again without any bracket orders I'm just doing what you would be doing now without any kind of bracket order tool uh, and so you can also use the hotkeys without any bracket orders selected too so if I do alt up then I'll mark it long and you see that there's no bracket order set I hit alt down to get out uh, and I just market it out and so uh, that's essentially everything that you need to know about this tool so the last thing that you need to know before I forget is if you exit out of the website or if you refresh the page when you do that the script goes away you have to go through the whole process over you have to paste the script back in uh, with your API key and hit enter and let it load up again because uh, it's only going to be available as long as you have this uh, page open um, so even if you sh go from one page to the other you have to be on this page when you're running the script and so anytime you leave this page or you refresh you're gonna have to re put in the script uh, hit enter and let it load up uh, so I just wanted to make sure that you knew that because um, could be a little confusing if you go to refresh and then you know the script's gone so I think that pretty much covers it um, like I said hop in the discord give us some feedback and uh, we'll try to make this thing better so uh, until then I'll see you guys next time